Hi everyone and welcome to this video. So on this video we're setting up manager and business closures in version 3 of PSA. Let's jump in the system. For these settings we're using the classic web client. Let's navigate to settings and business management and let's click on business closures click on new let's give it just a sec to load and then let's set a business closure for for example for Christmas And we'll set this as a two-day holiday for the sake of example and as a two-day event. All right, so we have a business closure for the Christmas of 2018 set up. By clicking on next year, we can access year 2019. And if we want to, we can set up a business closure for and business closures for 2019 as well. So this is how you set business closures. What they do is, is basically when you are resourcing your users and your personnel on projects, when you have business closures, the system makes sure that you're not able to resource on top of those business closure days. So you don't ac accidentally resource someone to work on a project on Christmas Eve, for example. The next thing that we'll do is we'll set up a manager and a manager is required when we are submitting time entries for vacations and absences and getting those approved. So managers are set up under settings and security and users. And then by selecting a user, and then let's change the form. Here we go, it's under the information form and under manager we would fill out that manager field. And now in this example, I would be the one approving John Doe's absences and vacation time entries. Now, depending on your security settings, you might want to consider filling this lookup filled up. So you do need to consider what your hierarchical security settings are if you have those in use before you implement this managerial policy in PSA. All right, so this was in short setting up business closures and a manager to get vacation and absence time entries approved. I hope you enjoyed this brief video and have a good one.